Hey everyone, this is the discussion analysis video for Operation Color Whale. It is one of the original four tier six operations released. It is now in its second version, with the first version originally having a Hosho and two other aircraft carriers, Hosho being inside the base and the other two spawned in northeast. Those have been currently switched to battleships. Which of the two versions is harder depended on how much anti-air your team had and which one you find easier to kill. Whether it was easier to dodge planes or easier to sink battleships basic premise of this operation is to do a raid on the base, destroy everything inside, and original intention is probably to leave promptly. Whether you decide to do so is obviously depends on how well you are doing in efficiently killing ships. It is considered one of the easiest if not the easiest operation. You can 5 star this pretty easily with only 5 or 6 ships if you're in a organized division. And in the first version, there's actually a video posted by someone where they only took 4 ships and 5 star this operation. I don't believe anyone has done the same with the current version. Here we're going to go over the order of battle, tasks you need to accomplish, the ships that spawn, and the basic strategy for 5-starring this operation. The map for this is unique, although it might be interesting to run this in PvP with an attacking and defending team. Depending on the tier of ship, it may need to be expanded to make it larger. For our tasks, you have two primary ones. First one is to destroy all the ships inside the base with a G101 in the Nassau over an I-4, cross you over in F7, a Kohlberg in I-6, and two battleships in J-7, with the Koenig being little more west than the Koenig Albert. The Koenig Albert used to be a Hosho, and while the Koenig does not move, the Hosho sent planes out to attack you, so that's probably the reason why the Koenig Albert moves. After destroying the enemy ships inside the base, your second primary task is to leave, going to the exit, which can be in two possible locations. The northern one would be in A8, and the western one would be in F1. You need at least half of the ships alive to enter. If you have seven ships still alive, you need four. Five or six ships alive, you need three. Three or four ships alive, you need two. And if you have two or one ships alive, you need one to enter the exit area to finish. Even if you don't have five stars, this is still a requirement. Now, there are a number of secondary tasks. First, you have ones associated with being inside the base. First one is to destroy 18 of 20 possible forts and buildings. The forts are all located on the outside and on the in islands inside the base, and the buildings are all along the inside shoreline. The next Secondary task is to destroy all the support ships which start 
in I-8. And once they are spotted, three will move north and two will move northwest. After that, you have tasks for outside the base. First one is to sink the two battleships that spawn in the northeast at A1. And the other task is to destroy the first and second wave of ships. First one is the V-25 in the west and Coburg in the north. And second is a Coburg in the west and a Kaiser in the north. And the last task is you need to prevent any of the reinforcement groups from entering the core haven area. Typically how that is uh, lost is the V-25 enters the south entrance or the Colberg crosses approximately into the D line, possibly a little farther north. In the first version, it was especially easy to lose the star with the V-25 entering the south entrance if it took too long to destroy the base. Now for ship spawns, obviously the first group of ships is inside the base. As I mentioned previously, you have the G-101 and the Nassau in I-4, Kohlberg in I-6, Karlshu in F-7, and the Koenig and Koenig Albert in J-7 with the Koenig Little West and the Koenig Albert which moves. After this group of ships, you will have the reinforcement waves and the two battleships. For ones that are needed for doing five stars, you have the two battleships, a Kawachi that spawns first with the first wave at 12 minutes remaining. Kawachi is accompanied by a Watatake, and the first wave is a V-25 out west, and a Kohlberg up north. Then you have the second wave of ships that spawn at 9.12 remaining, with a Kohlberg out west and a Kaiser up north. Next will be the second battleship at 7.57 remaining, which is a Ishizuchi with a Tenryu that accompanies it. These are all the spawns you need to destroy to get 5 stars, and you can exit confidently once you have these destroyed, although you may encounter the other waves while trying to exit. If you are destroying these too efficiently and you want to farm, then you have the third wave, which is a V-170 that spawns out west, and a Karlsru and Kaiser that spawns up north at 627. Fourth wave is a Konigsberg out west, and a T-22 and Konig up north that spawn at 342. And the last fifth wave is a Gaida and Bayern out west and Nurnberg up north, which spawn at 142. And the basic strategy for getting five stars, for ships you will want to bring, you want at least one heavy cruiser or Molotov reason being light cruisers are unable to destroy the forts quickly so you need a Molotov or heavy cruiser. The light cruisers aren't able to use armor piercing rounds on the forts until 8 kilometers away 
and heavy cruisers can do so at any range. And then to destroy the forts efficiently, it is easy, most easily done with a destroyer, which is faster than the other ships and has a faster reload. What the destroyer will do typically is go uh, below the island here at the D line and around the north side of the island here on the E line. And for myself, I can snip, typically just go past the Carlsview while it's being sunk. For average player, you may need to wait before wait for the Carlsby to be sunk before you proceed. And the reason the reason to bring a destroyer for the buildings is so all the remaining ships can focus on destroying the warships as quickly as possible and not be distracted while trying to destroy the buildings at the same time. And then an aircraft carrier is nice to have, which can spot things early to kill them sooner. And one nice thing is aircraft carrier can spot the transports and start them moving very quickly and there's a, if you can coordinate it, you spot the transports early so they are up in the FG line when the destroyer reaches the same location and you can have the transports going north to get sunk very efficiently and the main reason for this is the Koenig Albert which moves Depending on where it goes, if it goes west, it's not a problem for the destroyer. But if it goes east, the destroyer won't want to go south of the island. And having the transports up in the FG line helps significantly with that. And then the destroyer can stay north of this island and shoot the buildings from distance. For destroyers that you want to bring, the only destroyer that is not efficient at destroy, destroying the buildings has been British. For some reason, those are difficult at uh, efficiently destroying buildings. Even the Japanese destroyed them really quickly. And after all the base related items are done, you want to exit. Ideally, if you are really efficient, you can be heading for the exit or even outside before the first outside ships spawn. In the organized division, we've managed to destroy everything before 13 minutes remaining on the clock and be already leaving or heading for the exits when the first ships outside have spawned. And once you're done with the base, the first ships, as mentioned before, the first wave and the first battleship spawn at 12 minutes. So you need to be ready to intercept and prevent them from entering the haven. One thing we found that makes it easier in this version is those ships don't move right away. We're pretty sure in the first version that those ships move once they spawn as it wasn't uncommon for the V-25 to reach the south entrance if you were slow in destroying the base and causing the Haven Star to be lost if it entered. 
And in this current version, we found that the first wave of ships do not spawn, and there's probably a that once they spawn, don't move right away, and there may be a time delay, or if they're spotted, will start moving. This helps a lot with the keeping the Haven Star, especially if you are solo queuing into a random pickup team versus a organized division. And as far as ship distribution for leaving, we tend to send two ships up to the northeast corner. If you have a player who knows what it's doing, you may actually only need one, but a second one is best to be sent as a safeguard. Even if the exit is on the north side, you still want only two ships headed this way, as there are a number of ships out west that you need to sink in order to five-star this operation. If you have an aircraft carrier, obviously it's not going to go out west, it'll just go north with the two that are uh, going northeast, and all the rest of the ships need to exit the base in the northwest to sink the first wave, second wave, and the two northeast battleships to get those stars done before leaving for the exit area. And once you get all your stars, then you can focus on having at least half of your remaining fleets alive heading for the exit. And as mentioned before, if you have seven ships, you need four in the exit. If you have five or six ships, you need three in the exit. If you have three or four ships, you need two in the exit. And if you have two or one ships, you need one in the exit. And if you're killing all the enemy ships too efficiently, you can consider farming the third, fourth, and fifth wave. But if you want to do so, make sure you have all your ships close to the exit so you can leave when you are done farming or your numbers start getting whittled down too easily. And if you for some reason find you have too many ships too far away from the exit, just simply have those ships uh, get sunk in some way. Whether it be from torpedoes, from being citadeled by battleships, or ramming and killing themselves. If you have any questions on what to do, just let me know in the comments. Thank you for listening, and I hope this helped you, and you enjoyed it. Thank you very much.